Today I thought I'd do a quick clip on one of the plugins for Home Set 3 for the Microsoft Connect camera. Uh, great little plugin. Uh, it's done by a third party, I think, believe in, from one of the guys from the Home Set forums that originally wrote it. Um, but I found it extremely useful in the house. Now, there's camera features, gesture features, and also voice recognition features. And it's the latter that I've been making the most use of. Uh, for me, the primary advantage of it is the quality of the microphone array that's built into it. I've had several attempts in the past at trying to use voice recognition with different sorts of microphones, but the, just, the quality of it just hasn't been that good. The distance from the device wasn't that great in terms of noise cancelling with background noise. Too much interference, too many things that would make it go wrong, too many either false positives or just the quality wasn't there. But with the Connect and the third party plugin for Connect, it's actually not too bad. So for me, I've installed mine in front of the TV and I use it for some basic commands from turning the TV on and off, the lights, weather forecast, air conditioning. But I'll just give you a quick demonstration of some of those. So for a, a, a basic command, what I could do is to turn the lights on. Um, I would do a command which enables it to, to listen. So in our case, we call our home system Charlotte. So every command I do just needs to be preceded with Charlotte. As an example, Charlotte, turn off the lounge lights. Okay. And you see the lights go off, and just a voice response via text-to-speech comes from the Amazon Kindle, which I've got wall-mounted, which I've shown in videos earlier. To turn the lights back on, again, another simple process, same thing again. Charlotte, turn on the lounge lights. And of course, the lights go on. Again, you could do different zones. Charlotte, turn off the kitchen lights. Charlotte, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. So really simple stuff. But then you can do things like, in this case, I've integrated it with a global cache Wi-Fi to infrared device, which I've got in front of down here. So I can send a signal to it. Again, another plugin for Home C3 for the global cache device. I could do things like turning on the TV. Charlotte, turn on the TV. Okay. So that sends a command, it turns the TV on. And the TV is up and running. Now, at this point, you'll notice that there's noise in the background, so this is where it normally has some problems. But I'll give you an example of how good it is. Charlotte, turn off the TV. And boom, it's off. So it's actually not too bad, as I say. The false positive rate is really low and actually makes it a worthwhile thing. You can do all sorts of commands. Um, I do other things such as, Charlotte, what is the weather forecast today? Saturday, light drizzle with a high near 18. Winds from the west around 7. Chance of rain 3.0. So anyway, that's it for this clip. Thought just a quick demonstration of what you can do. Just out of the box plugins, just tying them all together. I hadn't seen any clips on it online, so I thought, well, why not do it for everyone? Thanks again. Cheers.